Loaded has finally dropped a mini cruiser. Although it's a shape that I don't think a lot of people saw coming, including myself. The Bologna's deck is super mellow with a subtle rocker profile. Now they did send this to us for free to share with you guys, but of course we only accepted it under the terms that we could share our honest thoughts. And so that's what this video is gonna be about, just realistically sharing uh, my experience with it. Let's first take a look at the setups that they offer. You have two choices, they're Moby or Willy. The setups differ in the graphics, wheels, and bushings. The Moby has the stock Paris 90A barrel and cone bushings and the Orangutan 65mm fat-free 86A wheels. The Willy has the Orangutan knuckle 87A orange bushings and the 65mm love handle 80A wheels. So that's where the two setups differ. Now let's take a closer look at the decks. It's honestly nice to see for a change, a mini cruiser deck shape that's on the flatter side. Usually you don't see that. It's 27.75 inches long, nine inches wide, with two wheelbase options, 14.75 or 16 inches. The grip tape is slightly more aggressive than what you'd usually find on like a traditional street setup. Now it might be tough to see in the footage, but it actually does have a subtle rocker profile. Now the interesting part about this design is that it essentially wedges the front truck and de-wedges the back. So the basic logic behind that is the front wedge increases your truck angle, which makes it slightly more turny and the D-wedge decreases the back truck angle, which makes it slightly more stable. The concave is about 3 8 of an inch deep, then starts to flatten out towards the nose and kicktail. Now, the kicktail, it exists, but it's a very low angle when you compare it to other mini cruiser shapes, and the nose is basically non-existent. It slightly raises up because of the rocker profile, but it's really not usable. So. I would say that you're gonna have a tough time, or I know for a fact, because I tried, ollieing, doing flip tricks, it is tough, especially when you compare it to a shape like the Coyote, the Dinghy, the Pilsner. Um, that might be more your vibe if you're looking to do ollies or, or flip tricks. The trucks that come on both setups are Paris 150 millimeter reverse kingpins. I believe they picked RKPs over TKPs because it has such a mellow deck profile and the RKPs are higher off the ground so you can get a beefier wheel on there. And like I briefly mentioned in the setup section, the main difference between the trucks are the bushings. Harder 90A stock Paris bushings on the Moby setup for handling speed better. Softer 87A orangutan knuckles on the Willy setup, more geared towards those that want a carvier, pumpy setup. The wheels are both 65 millimeter with offset cores. The Moby comes with harder 86A fat free wheels. They have round lips, are stone grounded, and have a smaller contact patch. Easy to throw out and power slide if that's what you're going for. The Willy comes with softer ADA love handles. They have sharp lips and a larger contact patch. Obviously, not as easy to power slide with the sharp lips and softer duro, but still somewhat doable. They're mainly for gripping the pavement when doing more aggressive carving. As far as bearings go, I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that both setups use loaded Jihu built-in spacer bearings. Uh, yeah, solid bearings in my opinion. Okay, so I am going to sit down and just briefly describe the riding feel. I've been alternating between two setups for the last hour. And so while it's still fresh in my mind, I just wanna explain it. The first thing you're gonna notice when you step on this is that it's very punchy and agile. And that's just mainly because of the, the smaller wheelbase. I would honestly describe this thing as, as a chiller. A, a chi it's a spicy chiller cruiser, right? Like it's chill in the sense that <laughs> What, what am I saying right now? It's chill in the sense that it has a flat deck shape, but because of the smaller wheelbase, it's spicy, it's punchy. Obviously the deck shape is the most notable thing about this. It has barely any kicktail. The nose is pretty non-existent. You can't really use it. There is some concave, but it's really not that much. I would say it honestly makes sense for someone who is strictly looking for something that's portable, like you want a mini cruiser, but you don't need the ability to ollie, do flip tricks. You're just looking to carve, power slide, and cruise. Yeah.